everybody, it's the Lawn Gnome, and welcome to the second video in my video series of how to write a proper thesis, research project, or paper. Today we're actually going to use examples of what I am doing with my own thesis to give you guys some better examples on how to tackle it. Basically, at this point in time, let's recap. You've already taken your project and gotten it approved by your teacher or professor. Hopefully you've gotten yourselves a calendar and started working out your weeks. You should always go at least one week in advance to make sure that you have everything broken down to make sure that you have a safe time for work and a safe amount of time for play. If you have a great professor, you probably probably already know when all of your assignments are due because these days a teacher or professor is not just going to hand you a piece of paper and say here's your research project check back with me around the time that it's due with a full paper these days especially when it comes to very big research projects they break it down into weekly assignments so you do a little bit each time it's a great way to make sure that you have a handle on your situation and it's a great t way to break up your work and make it more manageable i chose Big data in the retail industry. I already wrote my introductory essay, and now we have to do the research. So this is the week where we're going to talk about your research strategy vlog. What that basically is, is you just monitoring yourself on how you're gathering your research for your paper. A very important thing that you need to understand is it can't be too broad and it can't be too narrow. What does that mean? Well, if you have a topic that is too broad, it basically means that your finished project is going to be all over the place, it's not going to make much sense, and it's definitely not going to get you a good grade. If you make it too narrow, that means that there's a very good chance that you may not find enough information on your project, and it's going to have to make you possibly start all over again, and chances are you may end up being a few weeks behind. That was one of the other main reasons why I said, prepare yourself before you actually get your topic started to make sure that there is enough information before you actually go on the clock. So revisit your introductory essay so you can take a look at the map you've written for yourself, and that way you can take a look at some major points that you know exactly how to broaden or narrow your search. And this all leads into probably one of the most important tips when it comes to doing your actual research. When you're revisiting your introductory essay, look for what I like to call hot words. What does that mean? They are specific words that stand out in your essay that you know are the words that mean your project. My example, big data, retail industry. Take a look at the name of your topic, because that's the biggest bunch of hot words that you're going to be able to find. And by using those and working with words that are similar to those hot words, that's what you're going to be putting in your search bar when you're looking for your actual books or articles or journal installments to start doing your research for your paper. When you do this, see exactly how you can broaden or narrow each and every individual research topic in your paper. So a perfect example for me, I would go into one of the online databases and write big data intro or introduction. If nothing shows up, write big data beginnings or history of big data. Basically keep breaking it and breaking it until you make sure that you have a decent amount of articles or journal entries or book chapters that you can take a look at and download for yourself to revisit when you do your own research and start on your actual paper. And then you take a look at each and every one of those topics. So section them off. And also when you're using your computer, also make individual folders so you know where your research for a certain part of your paper paper is going to go and where another certain portion of your research is going to go so that when you need to look at each and every one of your sections of your paper one by one, you will know where to access your own information in your folders. I myself had a very, very positive search. It took me a couple of days. Also, don't forget, it's not something that has to be extremely time consuming. A wise person would probably break up this whole task within two hours of a given day. You spend about two hours, three if you really have to, but if you do that, that's the perfect amount of time to really focus on getting your research completed and by the time that assignment may be due where you may have to submit that log to your professor you'll at least have a decent amount of research done under your belt I actually came up with 25 articles the minimum was supposed to be five and there's enough research in there for me to really get myself going and get started on the next section of my project when I come back to you guys 
next week, we're going to be talking about citations and a bibliography. This is probably going to be, believe it or not, the most tedious part of your paper, so you're definitely going to want to tune in and pay attention for this one, because what I did know, thanks to my professor, is a little shortcut to make everything just a little bit simpler. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Actions speak louder than words.